We've got one come through on Twitter by the look of it. Uh, hi Lucy, what do you feel is the most common mistake parents make when trying to develop a sleep routine? Good question. Well, it's probably different at different ages. Um, one thing that parents maybe overlook when they develop a sleep routine is they keep the feeding as the last thing they do before bed. And the problem that can cause, and this, this can go right on through toddlerhood, is the feeding to sleep association. So if feeding is the last thing you do, whether that's bottle or breast or even just a cup or whatever it is they have, if feeding is the last thing you do, there's a lot of chance that your baby's going to fall asleep on that feed. Or toddler, um, I, I hear a lot of toddlers and preschoolers take a drink into the cot with them or into bed with them. And so then they come to rely on that and, and need that to get to sleep. That can start to cause a problem. The other downside to that as well is it leaves, if it's milk, it leaves a milky residue on their teeth, which is really bad for their teeth. So um, you want tooth brushing to be the last thing if they do have milk. So my tip for, yeah, what mistakes they make Feeding to sleep is a very common one, a very common one. Um, bathing is great, it's really soothing. It doesn't have to be done every night. Um, what I do say to people is, with a bedtime routine, to make sure you do the same steps in the same order every night. That doesn't mean you have to have a bath every night, but once you have done the bath, or if it's not a bath, a wash or whatever, from then, make sure you do the same steps in the same order. And another one uh, people make the mistake of is they have this nice calming wind down session, they have a bath, they get them in their pajamas, it's all nice and calm, and then they go, that, say that's upstairs, and then they go downstairs, and then they have some milk, and then maybe the telly's on. And it just kind of disrupts the routine and the flow. So once you've got them nice and calm and you've gone to the bath or wash stage of bedtime routine, they're into their pajamas, they need to go into their room or the room that they're going to sleep in. And in that room, you want it to be quite dimly lit, enough so that you can see to read a story if you need to. Um, and be in the room that your child is going to sleep in. Um, finish off the routine there. So the same steps that might be a story, a lullaby, a um, bit of time with you. If there is a bottle or a breastfeed, that's fine. Take the toothbrush in with you if they're cutting teeth or have teeth. They probably just chew on it, but that's not a problem. You just want to get that those teeth uh, coated with a bit of toothpaste, not milk, <laughs> and um, finish up the routine there, and then into the bed or into the cot, nice and calm, nice and quiet. Same steps, same order every time.